Hello everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be a Mirkwood Ranger from the Thranduil's Halls list and this is part of the Middle Earth strategy battle game. Um, so basically, what have I done so far with this model? I've put it together, I've stuck it to its base, I've applied um, some texture effect to the base uh, in the form of grab it now I have used Vallejo Thick Mud Acrylic and this is European Thick Mud so I applied that to the base and then I base coated the model using a leather brown army painter spray and then once that was dry I applied a watered down uh, rhinoxide to the base so first step I'm going to be colouring the trousers using Caliban Green So that's the trousers painted, wait for this to dry now and then we're going to be highlighting it using Thunderhawk Blue. So that's the highlighting on the leggings done, uh, we're now going to be moving on to the um, cloth areas of the model. So the arms, the bits that are draping down, just everything that doesn't look like it's armour. Uh, we're going to be doing that with a Castellan green. Um, with these models, what I'm going to be doing uh, for this uh, batch, all the cloth is going to be a uh, green colour and the boots armour are going to be brown. But I think the box contains 20 uh, rangers and they're 10 different scalps. So to give a bit of variety, you can always switch the green and brown around. So have the cloth as a brown colour and the armour as green. Uh, I've done that a couple of times with these ranges and it does look quite uh, nice and it uh, does make them look different from each other since we are limited on scalps. Uh, so that is the green parts of the model done. Um, if you think it needs to be green uh, this stage, you might as well paint it because um, the brown stage is after all of the green stages complete so if you're not happy with it you can always go over it um, in a later stage. So what we need to do now is wait for all this uh, green paint to dry and then we're going to give it a shade using Anthonian Camo Shade. Right, the shade is uh, dried now so now we're going to be dry brushing all the green areas using Lauren Forest. Uh, once that uh, is dry, we're going to be doing an edge highlight of Strachan Green on all the green areas. So just like go over just the edges of the cloth and um, any raised areas if you're doing the armour uh, green. Now that's the green areas done, we're going to move on to the armour or alternatively the cloth areas if you've uh, done that uh, green. Um, we're going to be using Rhinox Hide. And this is going to be going on the armour parts for the this model. Brown bitch finished and dry, so now we're going to dry brush all these areas with Doomball Brown. So wait for the Doombo Brown to dry and then we're going to be doing an edge highlight on the armour areas using XV88. Next step we're going to be doing the bow, quiver and arrows using Gothor Brown. Uh, wait for this uh, step to dry and then highlight these areas with Steel Legion Drab. Uh, 
Uh, sorry the photos don't really clearly show how good the highlight is in uh, real life. It's quite subtle but it does uh, make a bit of a difference. So uh, next step now we're going to move on to the hair. Um, the infinite ways you could probably do the hair for these guys. Um, I'd say mostly browns, um, lighter browns, blondes. Try to avoid um, white hair. I kind of reserve that for more of the upper nobility such as Thranduil and... Uh, Legolas. So for this guy, I'm going to be base coating the hair using Mournfang Brown. Uh, wait for the hair to dry and then we're going to be adding Agrax Earthshade to it. So make sure the hair is nice and dry because you don't want to be uh, watering it down with this and it'll look awful on the hair. Uh, now the hair is dry, we're going to be giving it a highlight of Doomball Brown for this colour. Uh, now we're going to move on to the flesh areas. We're going to start with uh, Kislev flesh. I know it's a bit thin, but there's going to be a few layers of this. So um, start off, do a layer of Kislev flesh, and then wait for it to dry before we go on to the next step. As I said before, don't, we, uh, don't worry about it looking a bit patchy at this point, um, there's plenty more steps to go. So um, wait for this to dry and we're going to be adding some contrast Gilliman flesh to it. Uh, this will uh, really um, expose the features of the face and then we can do some more highlighting. Uh, the contrast is dry now so now we're going to be highlighting the flesh areas with Kislev flesh again. Now that bit's done, we're going to be highlighting all the raised up areas, the forehead, nose, tips of the ears, with Ushabati bone, if I've said that correctly. Uh, that's the skin areas done now, so now we're going to be doing the dagger and the tips of the bow using lead belcher. Uh, I won't be doing the bow tips uh, at this stage, I'm going to be doing them gold. Uh, just because this model is a captain model and I just want to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, I suppose any Mirkwood players uh, or myself can tell a difference, but on the battlefield um, it's maybe helpful for your opponent to notice which one your leaders are as well. So um, yeah, so this is just going to be the dagger at the, for this model. Uh, I hope you can see from the photo the dagger on the back of the quiver. Um, I'm going to give this a wash using null, nulling oil. Um, normally after this stage I would give it an edge highlight using runefang steel. I'll put it here now. But um, since I can't see the edge of the blade in this model, I'm just going to give it a wash in nulling oil and then I'm going to go to another stage. That's the dagger giving us wash, so as I said, I'm not going to be doing the edge high highlight of Runefang Steel because I can't just, I can't quite pick out the edge and I think it's quite flush with the quiver. Um, so now I'm going to be doing the mouth of the quiver, the hilt and the pommel of the dagger using Balthazar Gold. And as I said earlier, I'm going to be doing the tips of the bow, um, of the bow uh, in this colour as well. Uh, that's the mouth of the quiver, the hilt and pommel of the dagger and bow tips done in that gold. So while I wait for that to dry, I'm going to be painting the fletching on the arrows using Mephiston Red. Uh, that's the fletching done. So now we're going to give the uh, mouth of the quiver, pommel and hilt uh, edge highlight of Gehenna's gold. Uh, now we're going to paint the boots and the handle of the dagger using Dryad Bark. Uh, so this is the last step now. We're going to be going over all the brown areas with Nullin Oil, just a light uh, coating of this. So basically avoid the face, hair, green areas and uh, the dagger as well, but everything else, bow, 
arrows, fletching, boots, cover it with uh, nulling oil and that will be the last step apart from the finishing off of the base. There we go, that's finished now. Um, while I waited for the uh, ink to dry, or should I say shade now to dry, I just added a couple of flowers to the base since the base was pretty much finished anyway from the uh, beginning of this video. So um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, uh, or you can always vary up the colours for you, the ranges, just to give some variety amongst them. And um, probably next video I'll do now is a Mirkwood Elf Captain, as I still wait for the British D-Day book to uh, be released for uh, Flames of War. So I hope you enjoy. If you want any more of this, just please uh, subscribe and you should get some notifications when uh, new content is available. So for now, um, keep safe.